Before we begin, I need to ask you two a question. Could you please explain the secret handshake? Can we redo it? Do I don't think, do you remember it? What was it? Wasn't it like this or something like this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if we told you, we'd have to kill you. So yeah. uh, just interpret it how you wish. I think I know what this is. <laughs> right. I don't want to be a technical like handshake guy, <laughs> but I think it's something to do with that. Right. Right. You're, you're, mm, you're getting, yeah, maybe. You're close. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, just, yeah. By the way, I love alienating you just to kick things off. I feel really good. <laughs> <out here>. um, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm going to take a bathroom break, I think, right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have a cry. Don't go to cry. Just a sob, a hard sob in the bathroom now that I don't, don't know the handshake. <laughs> we'll work it out later. We'll have our own. Okay, Fine. thanks. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> it. Who would you say of the three of you, now the dust is settled, no joke intended, has the best, <laughs> oh my God, there's a twister face? Because you have to do it over and over. This is true. And over. And I keep doing that Deadpool shock face of, yeah, mm. which yes. is why you're actors, <laughs> and I'm this guy. That was pretty good. I was scared. I, I thought was, there was someone yeah, coming. Yeah, get him in the movie. Let's I would this. say, I would say personally, um, I think Harry, who plays. I was yes. literally going to say Harry. Yeah. <laughs> he plays a British journalist who is out there being taken along by the Wranglers to to sort of do a bit of research, and he he. Uh, oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Every close up on Harry when there's a story. So funny. Yeah, I just. Jeff's kiss. I can't believe you've got some Brit to play a cowardly idiot. <laughs> yes. I'm assuming this is safe. Man, put your harness on. I'm doing it. Do you know what's an even funnier thing? I heard from a fellow Brit that the location that he names off is actually where a lot of journalists actually live. It genuinely felt like it was shots fired. Like, yeah. That's amazing. Like West Norwood is so specific. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I couldn't. <laughs> I love that line. I couldn't believe it. He yeah, was so yeah. brilliant. Is that where you live? It is so close to where I live. <laughs> so yeah, I love it. It's not go. where I live. It is so close to where yeah. I live. But moving on. Would you guys agree with me that the original Twister could be the most 90s movie of all time? Do you know? Yeah. Actually, and the and the like the Helen Hunt sort of blow dry, like it's so 90s. Like and the outfits and just like it it, it does and her with her like phone with the cord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The cars and the music. Mm. Yep. The CGI cow, which I was sad to see didn't make a reappearance. Cow. I gotta go, Julia. We got cows. Well, he died. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't make a re <laughs> Couldn't make a reappearance. 90s, sorry, right? sorry. Cows died. Cows okay, died. Okay. I, I got also, oh. there was a, I think there was a tornado. No, there was a tornado, but it wasn't the tornado, it was old age. Oh, it was old age, okay, yeah. You got cool. put delicately down by the tornado, actually. <laughs> the tornado just went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 20 he, years he later. Died peaceful. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's some really fun phrases in that first film. The suck zone. Mm -hmm. The suck zone. It's the point, basically, at which the twister sucks you up. Imminent ruage. I just, you Excuse could, you? You could, they, they said it. <laughs> they said it. He's gonna rue the day he came up against the extreme, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same yeah. Bill, I'm talking imminent ruin. Gravity is good, gravity is wide, but what they don't have is not my first tornado. 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 Or I'll see you in hail. See you in hail is good. See you in hail. See you in hail. That's clever stuff, guys. Yeah, it is. I mean, we actually did think about that. We were talking about like what could we do to have like fun. Remember, I kept trying to push for um, a Wakita blowout. <laughs> yeah, Wakita blowout. And Wakita is this place in Oklahoma that's known for some of the most violent, incredible tornadoes. And so uh, Daisy came up with this term called a Wakita blowout, which is a hairstyle. Uh, oh. Hey, if anybody watching, we're really Daisy's really trying to push this uh, hairstyle called the Wakita blowout. So any. <laughs> Salon in Oklahoma, please put that on the menu. <laughs> By the way, Anthony, I love that you get to do one of those science explainer things. That's oh. one of my favorite tropes, is going, okay, here's how the science works. Mm. This, like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Like that. This you know, cup, you know, it too, dude. Oh, man. This cup, the these things, can I borrow this for a second? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, so that was a fun scene. <sighs> Like, Yo, my man, my man, can I syrup, oh. please? Thanks. <laughs> you did it so casually I was, as it was happening. I was like, if he takes out a piece of paper and explains, you know, a bridge through time by putting a mm -hmm. pencil through mm -hmm. it, yeah, I'll just lose it. So they say you want to go from here to there. 
but it's too far, right? Mm -hmm. So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. There was something really cool with the special effects on that one where the, the team, they had this like magnet underneath the glass. Um, I probably shouldn't be giving this away, but I am. Um, and to make sure that when I stirred the water, that it would it would tornado. stay long enough for them to get a close up on it where it looked like a tornado inside. So that it gave me enough time to start the sequence, which was really cool. That's movie magic. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It reminds me of another question I love asking, which is what are your favorite movie cliches that you'd love to do? And I've got some examples for you. Sliding a package slowly across a table. You've done that a few times in Hitman. I did, I did. We've got the main criminal guy just before doing the big crime. It's showtime. Oh, it's okay. Uh, the classic mirror scare. And have you done any of those? Oh, like, like, oh, like yeah, washing yeah, yeah. your face and, and, then, and then, then shut the, ah. <sighs> oh my I did, God. I did one though. I had one line. In this one, in this movie, I was a glorified extra in Godzilla: King of the Monsters. I spent three months in Atlanta <laughs> <laughs> to say like one or two lines, but I did one of my dreams. Hang on, kid! Oh, wow! Hang on, kid! Hang on, you know, kid. I'll, I'll say Hang Anthony. <laughs> Anthony is an unbelievable uh, high intensity, high volume actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, literally when we were in when we were in a sequence in this movie, I was like, "This guy is born to scream <laughs> in danger and save everyone. He's really good at it. You really are. Thanks, bro. That's a big man. And, and with the musical singing voice and the whole thing, he doesn't try to protect it. He mm. goes full in. I sing and dance when I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> I was told though by um, Isaac that he was directing you wearing a full face mask, goggles, and like sound mufflers. Yeah. Could you ever hear what he was saying? Yeah. Over the wind machine, the rain mm. machine, the debris. One of our favorite moments, I think it was just the two of us in the car, but it was like one, one of our favorite moments is like Isaac is on the back of this rig where it's throwing dirt and debris and ice at us. And, and Isaac, I, I go, hey, Isaac, where's the tornado? And he goes, ah, it's like the, you're two o'clock and it's doing something ominous. Oh, I was yeah, like, what? It's, it's doing something spooky. Spooky. <laughs> spooky. I was like, what? We were like, <laughs> like ah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's a wild movie. It's a, wild it's a brilliant note. Now, you're scared of the tornado. It's spooky, it's though. It's spooky. It's spooky. It's very spooky. It's very it spooky. was like that, though. It really, it really was. was. It's like, okay, now it's at one o'clock and now it's getting bigger. It's at three o'clock. <laughs> It's so close to you now. You're just like, oh, <laughs> ah, you know, take cover. Ah. Take you cover's know. a good cliche. Yeah. Well, take cover's a good one. Yeah. Take cover. Take cover. Right. Take cover. That's what I want to do. I want to take a bullet in slow-mo. Ooh. I am not going to leave you. That's you know, great. Like that. I'm not going to let you die. I'm not yeah, going to let yeah. you die. Not today. Right. Yeah. I want to do some rom-com ones, though. Like, I want to I wanna kiss someone and have my leg flick up. Like in, like in Princess Diaries. That's Diary. the only like way a little... <laughs> <laughs> It's really annoying. That's yeah. your sequel. <laughs> That's why it's they cut the It's a medical thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a medical. <laughs> it's a medical You keep kitching, uh, kicking the coffee table. Yeah. You're like, oh, God. Glenn's <laughs> really done it again. Cool. Yeah, like, Daisy can't do any more kissing. So yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I sustained an in injury trying to do it with, with Glenn. All the stunts, fine. Kissing? No. Yeah. Um, guys, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast, Screen Time, on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.